I am an artist. Uh, I've been doing it ever since I can remember. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I guess it started all the way back from, I guess, kindergarten, coloring books, and then just went from there. Something that I, uh, I don't know, I'd spend my time doing. And, but I was kind of good at it, so I kept doing it, trying to make myself better. My inspiration, I guess, mostly comes from other artists, but I mean, honestly, like, like everything around me all the time inspires me, like, just everything that I see every day, it's, uh, just makes me want to make art and replicate what I see in the way I see it. Uh, that was for my AP art class, and the, uh, that painting was <clears throat> for a prompt. And the prompt was a view from nowhere, and uh, so I decided to interpret that with uh, portraying like night terrors and like, like nightmares, like a dreamscape type thing. And uh, so yeah, that's basically where that came from. My favorite medium is. Uh, Probably ink, like pens, and, uh, but lately I've been getting into uh, painting a lot more. I usually used to use a lot of water and acrylic paint and do like a washy, uh, just general idea of what I want to do for the painting, and then I go over and ink and outline things and make it more uh, popular. Uh, my favorite piece of mine is probably titled Nostalgia. That one was, uh, it was after all of the uh, prompts were, I was already, already already done with all of the prompts for the APR class, and I didn't have anything to do, and I just wanted to keep painting, so those images just flashed in my head, so I just wanted to get it down, and it turned out well, I liked it, so. <clears throat> I'm going to the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, and I'm majoring in graphic design, so. I'm pretty excited for it. I start in July. Um, I don't currently have like a favorite artist, but I read Juxtapose magazine a lot, and all of the artists that I see through there are just like amazing. They uh, they make me want to keep doing art because they're just so good. But if I had to pick one, uh, maybe Jenny Morgan. Also, like, a lot of street artists inspire me, so there's the any street artists, like Banksy. Uh, I most identify with probably street-influenced art, like graffiti and whatnot, but also, like, I don't want to say cartoony, but, like, stylized things, like, from, I don't know, I guess animated movies I grew up with as a child, just like, I like seeing things like that, so a mixture between street art and just like illustrations from comic books and stuff. I think something I do differently, other than other artists, is uh, I've been trying to develop my style a little bit more, but I've been using like a lot of water, I get like to get like a, like faded kind of like drippy, drippy effects. I don't know, just kind of like gritty, but also really washed out. Uh, I think the budget cuts on the art programs is like kind of a load of bullshit, but I mean, like, whatever. Like, that can't stop artists from making art. Like, if they're going to do that, they're going to do that. Like, the man's always going to be holding me back in some respects. So, you can still make art even if they cut, cut the uh, money. Like, you can still do it anywhere. All you need is, like, I think art helps me like get through get through things in my life. Like if I'm, if I'm like pissed off or like sad or something. I mean, I just pick up like a pen or a pencil and just take it out on the paper, and then it makes me like forget about my problems. So it takes me away. So yeah, I guess it helps me uh, solve problems. Now.